What's happening everybody, Kevin here. So you're looking at the 65 inch Sony 900H. The MSRP is $1599, I just got this for 950 bucks. On Best Buy. Check right now. I think it normally retails for like $1399, but like the MSRP is $1599. But yeah, I just bought this TV at Best Buy, brand new. Not an open box, brand new. For fucking $950. I think after buying or renting a U-Haul, buying food today, buying groceries, I even bought a used PS3. I spent like a little bit less than $1,150 today. And that number is important because a few weeks ago, the 65-inch TV... Sony 900H was on sale for eleven fifty, and I didn't buy it. And a few days later, I was like, "Fuck, I'm gonna go buy it." I, I, that's such a great deal, and it went back up to thirteen ninety nine. I was so pissed. I felt like I missed out. Then to wake up today, a few weeks later, to see it for nine hundred and fifty dollars, whereas the fifty five inch is nine hundred dollars. <laughs> but I got the My Best Buy extra like fifty dollars off. So I think there's a hundred dollar difference right now. It's fucking insane. It's fucking insane. This is a great deal. Is it the best TV on the market? Mm, no. If you're into OLEDs, OLEDs are better. I could say OLEDs are, to me, not objectively better, but I get why they're objectively better. To me, I just think the colors look better. On the, the Sony TVs, that's a Sony TV. That's an 810C. I just had a 900C or 900E. I moved that downstairs. I don't know. The colors just pop and everything looks natural. The OLEDs I've seen just don't look natural. Especially the LG. They have a very cold temperature and the colors look off. The Sony TVs, um, something about their processors just warm my heart. They look amazing. And they have the best motion. And the 900H is an actual gaming TV. I think this is their first like actual gaming TV with very low input lag. I think it's like 14 milliseconds, which, you know, is still not the best, but it's very, very good. Um, it's getting HDMI 2.1. Eventually here, it is made for PlayStation. If you go on Best Buy, it even has, this is PS5 ready. So yeah, if you're looking for a next gen TV, the 900H, just from the couple, couple hours I've used, I've watched a few YouTube. I played a little bit of Sakura, War, Sakura Wars and E's Origin. It looks good. Like, I'm coming from a 900E, which is a very fucking good TV. And there's a few videos I saw where um, people were not that impressed with the 900H, even coming from a 900E. I think, um, shout out to Quantum TV. He even said um, that it's a downgrade, which, you know, it's still my first night. I don't, I'm just a basic bitch when it comes to watching TVs. To me, it either looks good or it doesn't look good. You know, I don't look at every little detail. But hey, if something comes up, I will happily return this motherfucker. I got 45 days, so. But man, I, I've been impressed so far. Sometimes you get what you pay for. Here, I got a lot for what I pay for. <laughs> I, I'm i just amazed I got this TV. I love Sony TVs. I love Sony TVs. To me, they make the best TVs. If I had the money, I would probably get an OLED Sony. But they don't have any gaming ready features, which don't really matter to me because I'm a single player focus guy and input lag doesn't really bother me and I don't need 4k 120 um, these new consoles coming out no games are going to hit 4k 120 or at least the games I'm interested in and if so I'd much rather just play at 4k 60 and get the extra graphical fidelity or ray tracing you name it I'll take that over you know running at 1440p or checkerboard 120 but yeah <laughs> i am very 
Very happy I got this. The sound is really good too. I'm not a soundbar guy or even a headphones guy. And they do some weird acoustic audio things where it makes it sound like it's coming out of the person's mouth. And I even heard a little bit of bass. Not much, you know. <laughs> I'm not saying the sound's fantastic, but going from the 810C right there from 2016 to 2017 900E to this, it's definitely an upgrade in the sound quality. Um, and it's 65 inches. I had 55 inches and just a little too tiny. That's my only thing I can be adamant about is don't settle for a small TV. Uh, even if it's like, well, the 55 inches, 899, but then the 65 inches, like 1600, that's like double the price for what? An extra 20%. That's not worth it. Like, well, wait till it's worth it. Wait till that 65 inch goes down in size or in price, not in size. So that's the one thing I kept kicking my butt. I'm like, ah, I just wish it was a little bit bigger. This is perfect. I'm about 10 feet back. And there's my dog. It's perfect. It's perfect. Looks good. I'm in a dark room. It is a VA panel, so... Um, if you're going to watch this at a s angle or at a side, may not be the best TV, but yeah, I'm very happy. I'm very shocked that this was $950. Just absolutely shocked. I would not be surprised tomorrow. It's like, oh, that was an error, but I already gave him my money. And I am very happy. The only thing I don't like is the feet. It has like metal feet. And I had to buy this like really cheap Ikea stand. And I didn't even know it came with that. So I'll put my consoles there. But yeah, that's my setup. It's my dog. My controller. But yeah. Very cool. Very cool. I love this TV already. Anyways. I'm done bragging about my really, really good deal. But yeah, check out the 900H. Um, other gaming TVs, the Vizio OLEDs, the C10, um, Samsung. Oh yeah, that's another thing. This TV does have Dolby Atmos or Dolby Vision, which um, Xbox for the Series X and I think Series S came out and said that they're going to use. Um, so you want to stay away from Sam Samsung TVs like the Q80, Q90, Q70, Q60. They're only HDR 10 plus. They don't have Dolby Vision. So, I mean, that really leaves it to this TV and the LG TVs. Personally, I'm a fan of Sony. They just make really good fucking TVs. Anyways, I'm done. I will talk to you later. Later.